As we gather this day to celebrate liturgy, let us remember our Mass intentions. For Father Noel Cruz, Tessie Guajunca, Filemont Basilides Cantano, Felipe and Juanita Flores. Also, and more importantly, our first and frontline responders who care for us on a daily basis in these days of COVID-19, as well as our local faith communities who are with us in spirit and heart this day. And of course, our family and friends always with us and sending us their love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gather this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. We once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that your humble flock may reach where our loving shepherd has gone before. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Galileo was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal saying, This man is inducing people to worship God, contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Galileo spoke to the Jews, If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all, they all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal, but none of this was of concern to Galileo. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sania, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish, because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you will also, now in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen I say to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. The waiting game. We've all played it. We're playing it these days as well. We're waiting for so many things. The problem is, when things come, We don't realize what we are doing during the period of waiting is essential. It is either strengthening us and our resolve. It is either opening us to others, to their needs, or it is doing the exact opposite. Just me, myself, and I, thank you very much. There's no room for more than three. So what really are we waiting for? How is the waiting changing us? I have seen, and you and I have both seen in the news, people waiting for things to get back to a sense of normal, whatever that's going to look like. We don't do well playing the waiting game because we will give it so much time and that's it. Our patience is like short attention span theater. Some days almost non-existent. We ask, oh God, but never pray for patience, and you know why, because you'll have plenty of opportunities to make sure you have it. So be careful what you pray for. Pray wisely. Pray with an open mind, heart, spirit, and soul. As you wait, pray, reflect, see where the grace of the Spirit the advocate, is calling you in the depths of your heart. And remember, my brothers and sisters, and I've said this time and time again, when I say you, I mean myself as well. Because we are all human beings. We are all in need of God's grace, mercy, blessing, and compassion, his forgiveness and hope. So let us wait wisely. There are times that waiting is crucial. End-of-life issues. We wait for appointments, we wait for treatment, we wait for the results. We wait for people to come and say their goodbyes. Waiting can be an intense process, or it can be just on the surface. And we really don't care about anyone else or anything else, as long as I get what I want. Then the wait's gonna be worth it. Ask a child to wait patiently before the days of Christmas. Oh, (laughs) I think you're asking for trouble there some days. You're asking the horse to be patient when it's time to go run free in the fields. And so the problem with waiting is that we don't know how to wait other than being frustrated by it or becoming more anxious with it. One time, my grandmother gave me a terrarium, a lovely Christmas gift. Thank you, Grandma. But it was interesting. It taught me a lot of patience. I expected to put the seeds in, water it, and within a couple of days, oh, look, there's a plant. Well, that did not happen. The waiting game was on. But I was determined that I would see this plant grow. I was determined to make it grow like I was going to make it grow. I was going to help it. 
but it wasn't my will that was going to make it grow. I learned the grace of patience in that process. There were days that I forgot about the plant. I might have watered it in the morning or the afternoon after school, but I didn't sit there and, and watch it. But I knew it was there. I knew it needed attention. So the time that I waited was important because I didn't wait for a result. As I waited, I was being transformed. I was being changed. I was becoming more patient, more aware. And so waiting is more than just a game. It's part of life. It's how we wait that is important. Let us not wait and wait and wait, hoping that God will send whatever we want in prayer via lightning and thunder and say, here it is. And sometimes we miss what God sends us quietly in the subtleties of life. And if we don't wait well, we miss the grace and the blessing. So let us pray that the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, helps us to look within our hearts to see where we need to wait patiently and at the right time be aware of God's loving gifts to each of us and how we might share those for the benefit and the upbuilding of his people and the kingdom of God. May you be blessed in the time of waiting, blessed with patience, understanding, wisdom, and grace. May you wait well and find the joy of the grace and blessing at the end of the time of waiting. Gather this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. We offer our prayers of hope and petition to the Lord who truly hears and answers. And so we pray for the church, its leaders and people. May we together embrace the Paschal mystery, knowing that out of death and darkness, God will always bring new life and hope. We pray to the Lord. For peace, hope, and a renewal of life in our world each day. May God bring together many hearts and minds to make the power of the resurrection a reality in our day. We pray to the Lord. That as followers of the risen Christ, we may always be aware of the power of the resurrection and strive to bring a sense of renewal and hope to the world around us each day. We pray to the Lord. For our world and for all who face sickness and death, for all who live in anxiety or fear, that the Lord may bring hope, comfort, and strength to all, we pray to the Lord. For those we love, especially family and friends, whether near to us or far from us at this time, may God's grace keep us always close in heart, thought, and prayer. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. Merciful God, in your kindness hear the prayers we offer in faith this day. Lead us through these days of resurrection and Easter joy into the fullness of faith and light in your presence. We make our prayer this day and always, through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, grant that we may always find joy in the Paschal Mysteries, so that the spiritual renewal which is constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you with greater glory, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to everlasting life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are fully open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the lives of all rise again. Therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask, by that same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Gerald and Alberto, the bishops of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, we once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for the world this day, for those around us, let us offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. O God, out of love for your people, you have given us the one true and good shepherd. Continue to lead and guide us, your flock, and one day, through the precious blood of your Son, settle your flock in the eternal pasture of light, happiness, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. We go forth throughout this day, loving and serving the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.